let's begin with the case. A 32-year-old guy presents to your trauma bay. He's having a really bad day. He fell from the roof. He complains of some chest and abdominal pain. He's a little tachycardic, a little hypotensive. And on your exam, his abdomen is very tender. So if you're in a trauma center like I am, you're probably going to start with the Advanced Trauma Life Support Protocol, or ATLS which begins with the primary survey, A for airway, B for breathing, C for circulation, D for disability, and E for exposure. You're then going to move on to your secondary survey, a complete physical exam. But a few years ago, this protocol was mended to include a point-of-care ultrasound exam called the FAST exam. You're supposed to perform the FAST exam after your primary survey, but before your secondary survey. So what are your indications for a FAST exam? Well, I already gave you one. Trauma. What about unexplained shock? You have a hypotensive patient and you're not quite sure what the etiology of their shock is. Or an anemic patient, where again, you don't really know where the source of their bleeding is. Or a young female, where ruptured ectopic pregnancy is the top of your differential. Now, before you perform any point-of-care ultrasound exam, you have to know what your focus question is. For your FAST exam, it's very simple. Is there free fluid in the peritoneal space or in the pericardium? Simply put, does your trauma patient have blood in the belly or blood around the heart? But be careful, there's always limitations. Remember that the FAST exam is only a screening tool. You actually need about 400 milliliters of blood or more before you're going to see it on your FAST exam. Remember, we're only going to talk about peritoneal blood. So injury to your retroperitoneal structure like a kidney or aorta, is not going to show up on your FAST exam. Your patient has to be supine. Your FAST exam is not sensitive in a patient that is sitting up. Also, it doesn't diagnose the source of your bleeding. So just because you see blood on the right side of your patient doesn't mean that they actually don't have a splenic laceration. Now, a quick comment about the E. The E-FAST, or the extended FAST, is the additional evaluation for a pneumothorax. Now, you don't always have to perform an E-FAST, But in your trauma patient, where they are short of breath, they have blunt trauma to their chest, they're hypoxic, or tachypnic, you may want to consider doing an e-fast as well. To perform your fast exam, you're going to use the phased array probe, and you have four basic views, a right upper quadrant, a left upper quadrant, a subsiphoid view, and a suprapubic view. So I hope you liked this video. It was taken from our CME accredited Point of Care Ultrasound Essentials course. Absolutely make sure to check it out and to register for a free trial, which will give you access to selected lessons in the course. If you want to learn how MedMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MedMastery video. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.